Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. What day is it? I've lost track completely. It's Wednesday, midweek. Uh, Wednesday the 5th? <laughs> I don't even know what the date is. Uh, is it the 5th or is it the 6th? It's the 6th of December. <coughs> and as you hear, I'm still hacking away, sniffing, coughing, but I definitely do feel a lot better. Uh, I am sleeping a lot at the moment, as much as I can. And so I'm three days behind on my Advent calendar opening, but it's probably better to open a few days at a time um, so you guys aren't bothered with videos every day of the week. So where are we? Number four is the next one. There's going to be a bit of a collapse of parcels now. Oh, no. Very good. Number four. So... This was Monday's. Any clues on the side? Yes. Oh dear, it's a hair product. You know I'm less keen on hair products because I basically just go to the salon and use whatever they tell me. But this apparently means wave goodbye to flat, lifeless hair, which happily is not a problem of mine. I have many cosmetic problems more and more as I get older, but my hair is in pretty good nick. So Philip Kingsley, good brand, although well, that's what I'm told, never use them, I don't think. Bodybuilding, volumizes and lifts fine hair, weightless shampoo. Oh, it's a shampoo, so that's useful. I do occasionally shampoo my hair. I love Aveda products, um, but this would be useful. It's quite a decent size, actually. Would be quite useful to take on a summer holiday when not going to the hairdressers and you're washing your hair quite a lot. So, actually, um, now that I reflect, that is a good gift. Now, we are now into the um, draw, excuse me, stage. <coughs> Great. Nearly knocked my coffee over. No fancy editing here. You get the full horror <laughs> of my lack of skills um, with the iPad. So we're looking for number five, which is up here for yesterday's gift. No clue on this one. I don't know why they do that. Some of them, they give you a hint. Others, not at all. So, here we go. A fragrance. That's always nice. I do like to try a new fragrance. This is Shea and Blue. I have had in similar packs theirs before. They tend to be um, nature-based kind of fragrances. Yeah, natural spray fragrance. Black Tulip, which is interesting, isn't it? Because tulips don't actually smell. Black Orchid is, of course, my favourite fragrance by Tom Ford. Uh, and orchids also don't spell. So, nice little... My sense of smell is not particularly great at the moment, it has to be said. Uh, I can smell a bit, but... I have to say, that just smells generically sweet. Kind of gourmand floral, I would say insofar as I can smell anything. They're not actually telling me anything about the notes on there, so I'll have to look that one up. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of cheap floral scents, shall we say, very snobbily. Um, they have to be done really well for me to like them. Of course, <clears throat> quite a lot of Chanel um, fragrances are floral, and I do like those, but um, they're done well. Um, so what was that? That was five. So we're on to six. Today is one, which is a big one. Again, oh, that's a big one. No clue as to what this is about. How to get into it. There we go. Another tube. Oh, another F Philip Kingsley. Okay, so this is the conditioner to go with the shampoo, which I suppose is quite nice to have a set. Although, does everybody find I take much, much longer to get through a pack of um, conditioner 
than I do shampoo, probably about three or four times as long. And these are the same size, but quite a nice duo to have. So if I'm right, and I'm pretty sure I am, this is a Marks and Spencer's advent calendar from last year so you can't run out and get it now even if you're minded to although i'm sure they did something similar this year um they are they're pretty good i think this was something like 25 pounds so you really can't complain with the size and variety of the products that um we're getting they're not top end um brands but they're they're good brands um so yeah, I'm pleased so far. So I hope you're all doing well. And um, midweek, by this evening, we'll be over the hump. Uh, I've got a really busy two days ahead of me with a lot of travel, a lot of work uh, and a little entertainment um, tomorrow night. I'll tell you about that after I've been. Um, so, yeah, I hope you... Enjoy the rest of the week. Uh, I think I've hinted that you may not hear from me on a daily basis um, unless I get incredibly organised. But I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.